Now before we proceed, the 1 to 3 pouches mentioned in the item list may not be enough. So having a few extra in the bank is always a good option. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to the spirit and accept the quest. Now you'll be in the wilderness, but do not worry as this is an instance. To proceed, keep walking on the same spot as the ghost child. On the fourth time that you do this, you will be prompted with an option to enter the spirit realm. Go ahead and press OK. Now in case this does not pop up, head back to the first section of where the ghost stood and do this four steps over again. You should have the prompt. You will get a cutscene. Now I suggest you watch exactly as I do first. Now you'll have to communicate with the father via body language aka emotes. Now in this case he did a wave which the possible answers are either angry, bow or shrug. You will have this on your chat bar where a ring disappears around the little girl. Here on screen are the possible answers and you should eventually have them disappear. Now in case you weren't sure of what emote the father used, go ahead and use the think emote for him to repeat it again. So feel free to pause the video and continue once the little girl is free. Once all the rings have disappeared, speak to little girl and choose the first chat option for both prompts. After the conversation, you should be teleported to a small broken village. Speak to the little girl just to your north and choose a third chat option. Go ahead and rake the Limpworth route right next to you. In case you want an extra seed or need it, head just south on a crate and you should find one seed. Next, use your empty bucket on the barrel of water just to your south. In case you don't have a bucket, there is one just a few steps to your west. Next, in case you don't have two planks, you can pick them up just to your northwest, as you can see here, highlighted on screen. And lastly, you will need four steel nails. In case you don't have them, head to the east on the building with the anvil, and you should find them there. I did not pick them up as I already had them. Once you have your nails and planks, head to the building just to the west of the limp root and fix this broken wardrobe. Next just to your north is a small statue and right beside the statue is a log with mushrooms. Go ahead and pick said mushrooms. You will need three inventory spots. Now unfortunately we cannot proceed until the limp roots have grown all the way. This takes about 25 minutes. Now listen to me. Once they're fully grown, do not pick them. Leave them be. We need them to be grown and still on the patch. So feel free to pause this video and continue once the limp roots have grown all the way. Now if you choose to lobby or log out meanwhile you wait, then you will find yourself when you log in at the start of the quest. To proceed, simply speak to her and choose the first chat option. Once the limp roots have fully grown, speak to the little girl just east of the limp roots and you should have a cutscene.
After the cutscene, speak to the little girl beside the farming patch and choose the first chat option. Speak to her again and choose the third chat option. You will now see a small portal inside the large building in the center. Now before we proceed on this realm, we have some small bones scattered around the area. Go ahead and pick up five of them if you don't have them just yet. Go ahead and stand on said portal. Now that you are back in the spirit world, speak to the little girl and choose the second, then the first chat option. She will lead you to a trap door. Go ahead and head towards it. Now in case you don't have your skull, which you should at this point, go ahead and pick one up as I'm highlighting here on screen. Once downstairs, use your bones and skull on the altar. Make sure to right click your bones as you could accidentally bury them. Also in this clip, for some reason, I didn't use my skull, but you go ahead and do that. Once that's complete, head back upstairs. And find a large disc on the floor with a wolf icon. Now before we proceed, I highly recommend you watch exactly as I do. So that way you don't burn through the, your pouches with uncertainty. Firstly, go ahead and choose your left click option on your beast icon to be dismiss. And remember, clicking one on your keyboard after clicking on the dismiss icon will confirm its dismissal. So your goal here is to lure the beast onto the specific platforms with the specific pouches. In this case, we are doing the wolf first. So go ahead and summon one lure him back to the platform, and once the beast touches the platform, go ahead and instantly dismiss it. If you succeed, you will see an electric bolt around him. If you fail, then he will eat your beast of burden, and you'll have to try again. And this is what success looks like. Once you've successfully done so, go ahead and do the same for the other two platforms. The process is exactly the same. Just lure and dismiss before it eats and while it's touching the platform. So go ahead and pause the video and continue once you have successfully done the third platform. After the third electric shock, you will get a cutscene. After said cutscene, go ahead and speak to any of the spirits. And quest complete.